from reality TV all the way to reality in life. We are definitely not your average family. From firearms to family to fame, the Synsac Circus gives you a glimpse into our everyday life. Return to the Mac, get up what it is, what it is. We're gonna show you the reality of reality TV. Instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie, get up. Fresh up, I'm struck walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. Nope, nope, y'all can't copy. Yeah, yeah, moonwalking. And this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all. Way grown music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yeah, I'm wrong. Stage light, go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustle. Is this your first Christmas? Yeah. Tell me about Christmas Day. The kids wake us up super early. For moms, it's like all of the year prior. So we have to worry about the wrapping paper and which paper's from Santa and which paper's from us. And does the tape look right? And does the card look fishy? Does it look like mom wrote it? Dog's not eating the wrapping paper. The baby's not eating the wrapping paper. The vacuum's not eating the wrapping paper. Oh, God! Oh, I need that box. Oh, paper that And then after presents are open, everything kind of chills out. Um, but it was good. It was a good Christmas. I just want to sleep. It's horrible. It's wonderful to see my kids so happy, but basically it's, it's pretty much the culmination of my entire 2017 when Christmas hits. I pack up the family and we decide to go down to the Princess Hotel. Super fun hotel. They do like a train ride around the hotel. They do like Ferris wheels, carousels. They have a sledding hill, which I really hope you get to see the footage of Jesse sliding down the hill. Okay, so it's just Char and Noah. Here they go. Woo! <laughs> Daddy's going on his own. You looked like a beach whale when you were first getting in there. You look really excited. It was a really fun time for the kids. We like spotted a half famous person, which I mentioned in my blog, which Jesse had no idea who they were. Oh, so we went out to Tapanyaki, Tapanyaki, Top. Tapanyaki, whatever. You got it. The biggest fan of Tapanyaki was Carter. Dude was mesmerized, just looking around, staring at the fire. All around, good time. I'm getting myself in this one. Noah. We're taking a video, Noah. It's not a still shot. <laughs> Noah? Went back to the hotel room, went to bed. I ordered $40 worth of Diet Coke from room service, which is probably why Jesse thinks I have a Diet Coke problem. We have to be proud because the baby's sweet. Yeah, because we'll sweet in a new bed in our Charlotte, hotel. have you been licking your lips? Yeah, sorry. They look, <laughs> they look a little chapped. Hmm, I Jesse, did you have fun today? Yeah, tapenyaki was awesome. Tapenyaki? <laughs> yes. To tapanyaki, tapanyaki, top tapanyaki, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Tomato, tomato. <laughs>
But it was a really fun time. We love kind of taking the kids for staycations. That's our favorite thing to do with them. Holidays are over. We are gearing up for our adult trip. Colorado, here we come. All right, all right. Colorado can wait one more week. We got a little bit more work to do. All right, so where are we this morning? Spotlight 18, Doubletree Hilton, Scottsdale. Three. is always good so if you guys think of more questions or need anything else just reach out to me and let me know thank you no thank problem you. everybody have a good night oh finally got through that work's done packing up the house got the three nannies aka my mother-in-law and my nieces coming over to watch the kids hopefully my wife can keep it to two bags under 100 pounds each Jesse has two massive bags, which I'm pretty sure are gonna get flagged. I am down to two tiny little bags. So Jesse's walking around the airport with his helmet on his back. What do you got there? Where? Turn to the side so I can see how far it sticks out. Turn like face me. Yeah, yeah, so you're gonna hit somebody in the head. Head level of people sitting and he's just like do, 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 hitting people as he's walking through the airport, clueless as can be. This is terrible footage. We're in Denver to see a few snowboards. I think, I mean, they see so many snowboards that they have a snowboard carousel over here, okay? You would think they'd have it figured out by now. Not a 30 minute wait after everyone gets their bags. So, the rental car. So Ann booked the rental car. I'm a little nervous. I told her we needed at least a half ton pickup truck to haul the snowmobile around. Fingers crossed that she knows what a half ton pickup truck is and we don't end up with some sort of peanut toy truck. The cheapest possible rental car was on the planet. And now I'm like. All right, all right. She did an okay job booking the rental. I actually got to pick out a one or a half ton Ram. Not too bad. So we're staying in this absolutely incredible house. It's like 12,000 square feet, seven bedrooms or so up on top of a mountain outside of Vail. <laughs> There's snow everywhere, views for days, and man, I mean, it is like the ultimate, ultimate vacation. He picks this Dodge Ram, he's so excited he gets in it. It's like low on tire pressure, no big deal. Who cares? Get up here, the tire's like flat. Ugh, the rental car is finally fixed and it's time to get ready for everybody who's heading up the hill. So we just got up at Vail, getting out it with uh, Patrick, Jody, pretty sick, <clears throat> partly cloudy skies, up here about to drop in on the Gore Range and the Northwoods Express, looks sick. So we're out on Vail Pass with all the homies. Getting our sled on. Pretty awesome time. Not a bad view either. How would you guys uh, describe today? Awesome. Unbelievable. Yeah. Incredible. One of my most Bucket memorable lid. days ever. Love it. Coming back next weekend. Bingo. <laughs> Ludes. Do you ever leave a sign that we are filming? Ludes. No swear words. <laughs> are you having a good time, Ludes? Yeah. You're having a good time. Incredible. Incredible. It's really incredible today. 
watching and snowmobile is hilarious because she sits static on the machine and like romps on the throttle we come back time to load the truck get the sled back in the rental truck Oh man, talk about an absolute crapshoot. It's true. Anyways, good day snowmobiling with everybody until Jesse completely destroyed the snowmobile front. No, it wasn't that bad. It was only like a thousand bucks. It was like complete <laughs> devastation. <laughs> he like had to call his friend. Sorry, tell Anton. Him, We're really sorry. <laughs> But yeah, it was a lot of fun with our friends and just a really fun time in Colorado. Good old fashioned fun playing board games. What was that game called? Shuffleboard? <laughs> no. A catchphrase? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. catchphrase. I was awesome if at you... catchphrase. <laughs> Little psycho. Uh, very aggressive, very excitable. Screams yes a lot, a lot. Um, I was a little scared. It escalated quickly. Level of aggressiveness. Wow. Any nice, tight, tiny emails. Any nice, tight emails. Tight, tiny emails. Oh. Loudly. Oh. Hourly. You're so aggressive. Oh, hourly. We're flying home today. I'm excited to see the kids. I heard some big things are happening at home with the little guys. Get you, get you. What do you miss, Daddy? Okay, Charlotte, what happened to your lips? Come on, what? No. I have. I have. The Gatorade just put it off. It's a minute. So, Gatorade pulled your skin off your lips? <sighs> okay. Overall, I would say the last 30 days have been. Crazy for most, normal chaos for the Sinsac. Circus-ish. Circus-ish. Mm. We had a lot of fun, Christmas was so much fun. <laughs> What'd you get, Noah? <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we learned a lot about ourselves in December. Um, Carter turned one. Noah lost his two front teeth pretty much within 24 hours of each other after Jesse threatened to get a pliers to pull his teeth out. Does it feel like it's ready to come out, Jesse? Yeah. Do you want us to get the pliers? No, I don't. No, come here. Come here. Can we pull them out tomorrow? <laughs> can I see your teeth? This is what I'm Is that from skateboarding? No, it's from <coughs> yesterday. Feeling ever, get back in routine, getting back to school, uh, getting them back into their sports program, Charlotte back into dance. Hey, I dominated the game today. I dominated the game today. I like that toothpick, dude. <laughs> They're in here. Charlotte, how do you, were you just looking at your lips? Little. A camel? Yeah, you know, like complete the circus. Three huskies, three gremlins, a camel, and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh man, on that note, that's a wrap for episode one of the Sinsack Circus. What's one thing that I do that annoys you? Just one? The shirt's zipped kind of well. <laughs> Tell me about Noah. <sighs> okay, who's your favorite parent?
Um, tell me about your three dogs. Oh, three dogs. I'm getting tired thinking about this. Ugh. So we labeled this episode TMI because on our trip to Colorado, while we were explaining to all of our friends a little bit about how our new show would work, a little bit of the filming, we told them about ITMs in the moment, which exactly is what we're doing right here and right now. In the moment, explaining what's going on in our lives. But our friends kept nicknaming them TMIs because pretty much in the moments are actually giving way too much info. Testing, testing, <laughs> testing, stop recording. <laughs> Tory Burch or Louis Vuitton? Tory Burch. Tory Burch or Louis Vuitton? Who are they? Reese's Pieces or raw cookie dough? Why is this about food? <laughs> Reese's Pieces. <laughs> iPhone or Android? iPhone. Nobody buys Android. Did iPhone or Android? Uh, iPhone. 